Welcome to the DM Plugin Quest Module Guide. We will try to go through all the options, discussing how they work. To prepare for using this module, we need the latest version of the bot, the plugin, a new configuration file containing a list of all NPCs and resources needed to complete the mission. It is necessary to create a new configuration file specifically for this module to avoid problems with incorrectly assigning NPCs to a map where they do not appear, which will disrupt or prevent the mission from being completed correctly. The new configuration file is empty, so we need to place the bot on each map and leave it roaming for a few minutes to encounter and save the NPC names. Note. The TYX plugin includes a module that automatically enters all NPC and resource names into the configuration file. However, a configuration file filled in this way will not work. To supplement the module's functionality, we recommend using the Your Trader module in KKW plugin for selling resources in missions that involve collecting them, the Kekka Reloaded plugin, and the Skylab Builder module. Notes about the bot itself. The module does not support and will not work in 3D mode. It is required to use 2D mode. Kekka Player, the game window, should be at its default size to avoid errors. Once everything is ready, let's discuss the module's functions. The module is capable of performing three types of missions. Urgent missions, appearing when our earnings are reduced. Season passes, daily, weekly, and seasonal, and regular missions, including daily, weekly, and special missions available during events, which can be selected in the Mission Acceptance Logic section. You can choose the visibility of information in the bot window, such as mission objectives, completed objectives, and mission rewards. Below is the Mission Type Settings section. Collect Quests. Kill NPCs Quests. PVP Quests. Galaxy Gate Quests. Season Pass Quests. In Collect Quests, you can choose to activate such missions and select the module to be used to complete them. By default, the Quest module uses the Kill and Collect module logic to complete missions. However, if necessary, you can specify a different module to complete them. This applies to the settings for each mission type. Next is the option to use a pet and its work module, for example, to search for resources on the map using the resource search mechanism. Next, we have the Kill NPC's Quest settings. The option to activate or deactivate this type of mission, select a module to perform the mission, for example, the Invoke module if needed. Setting up a pet to, for example, track NPCs using the enemy locator. Identical options in PvP quests. Custom module could be, for example, Ship Killer or PvP module. For GG quests, it is necessary to select Galaxy module and set up gates you would want to be completed alongside with GG spinner module to build gates if needed. In Season Pass quests, we have just to select types of them to be done. Keep in mind, if among them would appear example, Galaxy Gate quest or kill NPCs, you should enable option to use quest module as behavior. It will allow you to select as working module anything you want, and quest module will still work alongside it anyway. In quest giver logic, you can choose how module should work. Should it take more quests when run off of already accepted ones? What type of normal quests to accept? If it should change to specific bot profile when all quests are done. And safety setting for low performance computers or when the game has lags. Other settings are as follows. Minimum time per check is expressed in seconds and means how often the module should check whether it has completed the mission requirements and to what extent. Priority assigned by default is the priority assigned automatically by module to NPCs and boxes, resources required to complete the mission. Priority to ignore means the priority of NPCs or resources, boxes, to be ignored. If the user manually assigns it to, for example, an NPC, the bot will ignore it even if it is needed to complete the mission. This is useful when, for example, a mission consists of several stages and you want to stop it before completion, let's say, on the last few NPCs on one stage to which you give this priority. 
Now that we have discussed the settings, let's move on to completing some actual mission. The module will perform missions in the order from the active one in the accepted missions window to the next one in line. When it completes all of them and the accept option is selected in the settings, it will go to the mission control and accept subsequent missions one by one in order from the top of the list to the bottom.